What's up, everybody? Mr. Thrasher here, standing in front of the marquee of the Whiskey A Go Go off Sunset Boulevard here, doing a little bit of rock and roll history today, as you can tell by the name of the video. Joining me is Jesse Hosh. What's up? How's it going, sir? Good. Good, good. Follow him on Instagram. He does great filming location matchups and photography. He's been doing it for quite a while. Jesse Hosh on Instagram. We're gonna walk up right now to the Motley Crew house. Obviously Motley Crew, synonymous with the Whiskey A Go Go and all the gigs they played here, legendary gigs in the 80s. And they're, where they lived was just up here. We're gonna take you on a walk right to their apartment. The Crew House. Basically, after a gig or anything, they didn't have to walk very far. We're gonna head up here. Stumbling distance. Stumbling distance, right. And they probably would have gotten pretty messed up during their time at the whiskey. You can actually see the apartment from here. Stones throw away from the whiskey. 1140 is the address you want. And this is the building here. I'm sure at one point in the 80s, seen probably could smell the debauchery similar to this garbage truck you could probably smell the debauchery that went down in this apartment parking area the band might have utilized by when they head out on tour pull the tour bus down there so this is the actual apartment here at 11 40. 11 40. the gentleman who lives there sure does do that Hard at work here, garbage guys. I wonder if they know they're outside of the Motley Crew apartment. Left of the apartment would be the pool. A lot went down in the court area. I don't think, I'm not sure if this is the court area or the back alley where they piled their trash, but they certainly would have utilized this pool you see right there. They utilized that pool. I'm sure, it's been changed up quite a bit since the 80s, but just picture Motley Crue down there. Motley Crue naked in a pool. It's Tommy Lee. Doesn't like swimming trunks. So right here, the Motley Crue apartment. I'm sure at some point, Jesse, we probably would have seen uh, televisions thrown into the pool or uh, I hope so. old guitars. <laughs> I that... so. I'd be disappointed if there weren't upset that they couldn't restring or weren't <laughs> sounding properly. Throw it in the pool. Exactly. Throw it in the pool. Okay. Send back down this way. Trying to distance ourselves from this truck. Take a good look at that. Because then we're going to go check out David Bowie's rent. Oh, oh, geez. Look at that, huh? You, you can, can rent it. You can live. You, you can live where yeah, the crew it's, lived. It's, it's this one for sure. Yeah. All the photos yeah. on Google show that, exactly, yeah. but this this address. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But like Vince Neil comes through like once a year and gives people a tour. Really? <laughs> really? That's, that's but um, cool. yeah, they were in the bottom floor, two or four in the back. Oh, cool. Bottom There's a floor. Of people here who were who were residents when they At the were time. here, and they're just like they were disturbed they're, by they're, them. They're still <laughs> scarred by it. Oh, <laughs> that's wow. great. No, they keep there. talking about like. Christmas tree down here, just covered with hypodermics. <laughs> Lived on the first floor then. What did you say? What did you say the apartment 204? I think it said 204, yeah. And it is for rent. So you could rent an apartment where Motley Crue rented an apartment. I'm sure there's like some form of uh, hair metal DNA left behind <laughs> still somewhere <laughs> on this property from one of the four members. You can, you can only imagine. Black light in the apartment. Yeah, see block like right. the apartments, see what you can uncover. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Cool tree here, there it is. The crew apartment. Okay. Now me and Jesse have arrived on Doheny. 637 Doheny. This is where David Bowie lived. His time here in Los Angeles. And it's behind this house where you would find David Bowie's Possessed swimming pool. We got American flag here, old glory. 
During his time here, Bowie actually recorded Station to Station. Uh, it was around that time frame and the man who fell to earth. Um, he also, this is a well-known fact, he actually lived off of peppers and milk. Living off of peppers and milk and cocaine. So, what, what, what inspires great music writing more than peppers, milk, and cocaine? That's it. So, there's more to this story. We will attempt to get a shot of the pool. We're probably not gonna be able to show you the pool because it's pretty sealed off in the back. It is a gated area and a private residence. But the truth is, during his time living here, he was convinced that his pool was possessed by the devil. He was doing a lot of drugs. He was a pretty intense guy. And uh, he started keeping his semen and his nail clippings because he was afraid that a witch was going to cast a spell on him and make a clone of him. He was, uh, he was convinced the pool was possessed by the devil and that a witch was going to come, cast a spell on him, turn him into a clone if he didn't save all of his semen and nail clippings. <laughs> That's wild. A man in the sky knows what was going on in his head. He said he was an intense guy, but he actually, there's a pole, it's not this pole, but there's a pole behind the house by the pool, and he performed an exorcism on a pole in the back. Tiny little water area here, in front of the house. There's a uh, sphinx, you got a sphinx right there. We'll try to walk around the side, see what kind of glimpse we can get. Hey Jesse, did you ever uh, get a chance to see David Bowie perform live? I didn't, man. I didn't. My brother did on the Glass Spider Tour. Yeah. Talks about it all the time. He rubs it in. Wow, that, 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 <laughs> was, that was a long time ago. Yeah. I yeah. saw him on his last world tour. Really? Which was 2004. <laughs> I was 15. Everybody laughed at me when I, I said, I'm going to see David Bowie tonight. They laughed at the time, and then now, when you tell people that, they go, Whoa, you saw David Bowie? Yeah. Yes. Dude, that's big. I did. Yeah, he opened with Rebel Rebel, and right after that played Modern Love. I wish I could have seen Bowie do. Well, he was doing two and a half hour sets. That turned out to be his last tour. He did most of the cities in the world from what I remember. I remember he played everything in two and a half hours. It was an incredible show. And at the end of that tour, he, was suffer he suffered a heart attack, which prevented him from touring again. And he was trying to get back to that, especially in the final two years of his life. He was living in upstate New York. So, I believe he died in New York, hmm. uh, but that's where he was living anyway. And he was trying to get back to touring and didn't get there. Sad, man. That's but for those of us who did see Bowie live, yeah, not something I regret. No. It's a good investment. <laughs> Waiting for the sun to bring itself out. Look at these palm trees. The Gene Genie. Gene Genie is a good song. I'm afraid of Americans. Making our way around the back. See what we can see. I'm pretty sure you cannot see the pool from the back, but there's the story anyway. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. I really had to come and check this out, being a big David Bowie fan. So here's the back alley here. Wow. Church on time terrifies me. Dude, that is the biggest trash can. Those, those are big. <laughs> How often do they have to empty these things? <laughs> you can put a year's worth of garbage in there. Beautiful, you see all the palm trees just coming over the fence here. What alleyway doesn't have a beware of dog sign? Okay, so coming up to 1637, this would have been the pool house or his guest house. So this is the back, so you can't see the pool, but you can actually hear it. You can hear it, so you know the pool's just over there. 
creepy three-legged dog there too. This is the pool house. I'm guessing this is the pool house. There's another shed back here. So 6, 637. You can see the, the pumps and stuff, the pipes. So the pool's right there. I wonder if the people who live here have had any issues with the pool. <laughs> or if this was just all in David Bowie's head because of his diet and narcotic intake. <laughs> Pretty much any cover band I've ever played in, we always cover Ziggy Stardust. One of my favorite to just pull out on an acoustic guitar starts in that G chord. Dang, dang, you go D. Nee, 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 nee. Oh, I just love it. Everybody loves to hear that at a party. You know that odd pigmentation in David Bowie's eye? He was introduced to a friend's girlfriend and he ended up having relations with her. And then when confronted by his friend, his friend punched him in the eye. And that's actually how that happened to David Bowie's eye. That's how he messed up pigmentation in his eye, which was pretty cool. It worked out really well for his career and he actually thanked that guy in the end. Thanks for punching me in the face. It's been cool. Back when they did the November Rain video, probably would have seen the members of Guns N' Roses coming in and out of here, probably utilizing this back area. So I think most of it would have taken place at the back of the church. Try to get another angle of the church. That's pretty cool. Axel slash all in here for November Rain. at the A Nightmare on Elm Street 3 church, as I like to call it. It was also used in Fight Club. But this is where they shot the scenes for November Rain. This was the church they used. They shot all those inside. Slash, Axel, we're all in there. Pretty cool looking church. Wonder if we can get in. at this portion back area of the church where Slash and Axel did their scenes for uh, November Rain. Axel on the podium there. Staring right up that church. Yeah, just interesting to think that once upon a time Guns N' Roses was here. side doors. Tried to see if those were open. Look at these lights here. Giant lantern. Not open. Very cool to check it out. St. Brendan Catholic Church. From my nightmare on Elm Street 3. Played my left hand, but made it too far. That's about gonna do it today. Thanks again. I wanna thank Jesse. Follow him on Instagram, Jesse Hosh, and you'll see some wicked photography for filming locations. Always doing the matchups, keeping this niche form of content going. Please like, please subscribe. If you're new here, subscribe and let you know when a new episode goes up. You never know what you may be missing here on the Mr. Thrasher Show. David Bowie's Possessed Pool, the Motley Crew House. All right, we'll see you in the next one.